facades crumbling, windows broken, roofs collapsing. This is what's left of Admiral's Row, a one stately block of homes in Brooklyn Reserve for commanders assigned to the former United States Navy Yard. They were grand houses, the kind of houses that you see in the better college campuses in the Northeast, and um, what people think of. I mean, these, these were the kind of houses that, you know, you would be incredibly lucky to live in. Since 2004, Simeon Bankoff and his team of five men and women at the Historic Districts Council have fought hard to save and restore Admiral's Row. After learning of the city's intention to buy it and tear it down, they began a campaign to save these historic houses. The buildings are special because they're late, they're a very rare collection of late 19th century buildings that are wonderful uh, architectural styles, uh, very good examples of the Neo-Italianate and Second Empire styles. And the buildings are very representative of the development of the Navy Yard, which at the time was called the uh, United States Navy Yard, which, was the, which had been the largest shipbuilding facility in the 19th century. It's a rare survivor, uh, especially on the East Coast, of a campus like this. Why is Admiral's Row a target for the wrecking ball? It's part of a bigger plan by the city to restore the Navy Yard and the surrounding neighborhood. This $250 billion plan includes construction, of a new supermarket along Flushing Avenue. The city wants to use the land for the supermarket's parking lot. No one from the Navy Yard's Development Corporation would agree to an on-camera interview. Instead, we were directed to a city council press release from July that states, unfortunately, an economically viable or rational plan for rebuilding the homes located on Admiral's Row does not exist. These decrepit buildings must come down to make way for rational, community-oriented development. Really, it's not about fresh food versus old houses. It's trying to combine the uses and really um, think about what we want this place to look like for our future. An Army Corps of Engineers structural assessment of the houses set for release in February of 2009 will determine once and for all whether Admiral's Row will become a historical landmark or future parking lot. Nicholas Martinez, New York City News Service.